guys welcome back to my channel in this video we're gonna talk about lizzo being hit with a major lawsuit from her former dancers they're suing the hell out of lizzo for subjecting them to um body shaming pressuring them to participate in disturbing sex shows and honestly when i look at these reports and these allegations i actually believe that they could potentially be true because when you look at how lizzo cries about being fat shamed being body shamed and then immediately after that she comes to the internet crying and after crying then she would go back to be more outrageous and then plays victim these people you know they normally always want to dominate others anytime they get the slightest opportunity to do so and with lizzo being you know the boss the one that pays her dancers i can definitely see where things can potentially get out of control at times not only that i know that once some people including dancers are amongst these celebrities some of them are willing to do every and anything just to be these celebs number one person to get closer to them to be their ride or ride or die you know bestie or ride or die dancer but irrespective of that no one should be subjected to these cruelty so we are gonna talk about it because this is actually disturbing and extremely disgusting now according to page six page six is saying that three of Lizzo former dancers including um Shirlene Quigley and big girl big touring are suing Lizzo for allegedly subjecting them to endure weight discrimination the same thing that Lizzo cries about on social media repeatedly and this is what you call a sick individual not only that right and remember these are all allegations because so far they haven't been proven but not only that they're also accusing Lizzo of sexually um denigrating behavior and pressuring them to participating in disturbing sex shows now based on what i'm understanding right there are sex shops in amsterdam lizzo and her team they were out there in amsterdam in february of 2023 so they go to these sex shops where all these sex scenes sex activities they do take place there's some that they call like the banana shop where women put bananas in their private parts and it is said that lizzo forced one of her dancers to eat that banana now this is really disgusting because i believe that at that point that decision belongs to you because if someone say eat that banana you can choose to eat it or you can choose to you can choose to take the next flight get home and find another job you do not have to submit yourself to such cruelty as well but let's talk about this lawsuit because this lawsuit is saying plaintiffs ariana davis crystal williams claim in the lawsuit filed on tuesday tuesday and obtained by page six that they were eventually fired while the third plaintiff noel rodriguez resigned over lizzo's stunning behavior while on a concert trip with the grammy award-winning artist to amsterdam in 2023 the plaintiffs claim lizzo invited them for a night out on the town which ended the city's red light district the area is known for its sex theaters, sex shops, clubs, and bars, where nudity is on full display. And before we get into the rest of the article, I must also say, I believe that it doesn't matter who you're working with. Once you're traveling to a country or a state, 
do your little research of what the country is known for tour what do tourists normally do in those areas so as to you know have a sense of what can happen if someone invites you out to a club what kind of club are we going what is this club called and if the person is refusing to give you any information then at that point you can say you know what chances are they might be going to a club that doesn't align with my beliefs and as such i'm gonna stay in my hotel room but oftentimes with celebrities people want to be around celebrities a lot i don't know why but let's continue with what this lawsuit is claiming because the lawsuit states things quickly got out of Anne. lizzo began that's after she invited them to the club they showed up to the club they're saying that in a matter of no time arriving at the club, things quickly got out of hand. Lizzo began inviting cast members to take turns touching the nude performers. And this is something that happens when you see a group of people go to the strip club, like they're forcing others and inviting others to touch, to tip, right? So they're saying that in this case, Lizzo basically um, invited them to touch nude performers, catching dildos launched from performers' vaginas and eating bananas protruding from the performers' vagina. And people do go out and they lose themselves, you know, drink, get too drunk, have no control over their decision. And if someone says, eat it, eat it, eat it, they laugh because you want to be the cool guy. In the moment right and they eat it so the suit claims that Lizzo allegedly pressured and goaded Davis into touching one nude performers press the plaintiff claimed that just a month later Lizzo 35 deceived them once again into attending a new show thereby robbing them of the choice not to participate the document states listen honey you know if she invited you to one show and it was that bad ain't no way you're getting a second chance listen i'm all good go ahead have fun but i will not come to that show so it's given the sense that these people you know have they do have their own um blame in this and not entirely really so as well i have to be honest right and sometimes people do things out of fear that, hey, I may not get paid for this gig and I need this money. I already signed up for it. Let me go through it. No one should be um, forced to subject themselves to such cruelty, cruel, horrible acts. But let's continue. They're saying that Davis also claims in the lawsuit that at one point she had no choice but to soil herself on stage during an excruciating, excruciating re-audition, fearing the, fearing the repercussions of excusing herself to go to the bathroom. You're telling me that Lizzo is that brutal that you had no choice but to soil yourself on stage during an excruciating re-audition fearing repercussions of excusing yourself to go to the bathroom okay let's continue they're saying eventually lizzo allegedly fired davis on the spot after learning davis had recorded one of their meetings even though it was in order to have a copy of the notes the artist provided rodriguez resigned shortly thereafter out of solidarity with Davis and the disrespect Lizzo alleged, allegedly showed her. The lawsuit claims she feared that Lizzo intended to hit her and would have done so if one, if one of the other dancers had not intervened. So Lizzo is a mad woman then. So basically what they're doing is to describe Lizzo as a totally mad woman because Ain't no way anyone in their right mind can be employing people to work with them 
and subjecting these people to such behaviors. But based on what we've seen with Lizzo playing victim, you know, crying, then being worse than how she was, you know, portrayed, you know, every time someone spoke about her, you know, showing too much skin, she would cry and talk about body shaming, fat shaming, then she would go back to the internet to be worse than before. You know, never stable in that decision. So it would definitely give the sense that I can see Lizzo fat shaming someone because normally when people are consistently, you know, attacked with something, they normally shift and they normally, you know, accuse people of what they're normally bullied with. So, so in other words, they normally deflect. Now, they're saying that they reached out to Lizzo, but her reps declined for any comments. Now, many people on social media tend to believe these dancers. Some people believe that if what they're seeing is not entirely factual, it is definitely half true, right? But I believe that this should be thoroughly investigated, right? Because we're also talking about someone's career here. And we know that oftentimes there's bitterness. But again, I cannot shake the feeling that these allegations against Lizzo can be potentially entirely factual, if not half true. But she is still innocent until proven guilty. But I want to hear from you guys because this is very disturbing. And I want to see what's your take on this. While you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you all later. Bye, guys.